Hello friends, my name is Patrick, I'm the author of um, the books about geopolymers and what I have for you today is a selection of matter kaolin based geopolymers. So I placed it on a sheet of white paper because the reason why it is white is because there's matter kaolin in it. Um, if you now think uh, you can use this um, as geopolymer raw material, yeah, that might be possible. But um, all the experiments I did with white paper, uh, let's say a stack of white paper with an activation with an activation solution didn't work very good. But um, I only did, you know, like a preliminary test. So what we have in here. So I start with this freshly made potassium water glass, potassium hydroxide based geopolymer like the recipe R from the book basic geopolymer formulations I just made it like yesterday the mixture was very uh, liquid um, I feared that it won't harden but it hardened very good I really like it and as always you can even hear that it hardened so they are all used, all of them were in each of those and those tiles. I used the very same matter K line, looking like this. And um, most of them are sodium hydroxide, sodium water glass based geopolymers. So is this without any um, aggregates or this one geopolymer without any aggregates in it. In comparison this is yeah, a little bit different um, formulation but basically the same. And in this I added um, silica, no, sorry, quartz flour, quartz flour and quartz sand. And it changed the color to this grayish, um, cool looking, um, yeah, color. Or maybe you can make it a little bit better for you. You, know, you can see the sand grains. Or in here you can see them very good. You can see it that good that you can almost um, develop your uh, good mortar or material by looking <laughs> looking at it. And what I can see by here uh, in this thing is that there's a lot of white in between the sprinkles, which, which means uh, we could really um, raise the amount of aggregates of sand. This is a geopolymer tile from river sand, like the same as my recipe A, but with some river sand, which is a little bit of pain in the ass because it's really difficult to get a river sand clean. And if you don't get it clean, you have a lot of those um, yeah, stains and marks the same recipe but with um, with a commercial um, aggregate mm -hmm. cool and then I want to go to the um, phosphorus acid based geopolymers and this would be one it's just phosphorus, phosphorus, commercial phosphorus acid mixed with water and the same matter K line. And they, um, that system is more complicated in terms of um, reproducibility, practicality, and because they, I, you know, like a couple of days later, 
after I initially made them, I thought uh, <laughs> it didn't do anything, but then it came out very good, very hard, very solid. And what one can see is that the color is bright white, um, whereas in a alkali geopolymer like this, it's always this green tone, or at least we call it green tone. So maybe you can even see it better in this um, foamed metacare line geopolymer. Um, we made it, I made it, adding, um, making a geopolymer much like the other ones and then adding a foaming agent. So um, I don't tell you the exact foaming agent I used, but um, standard foaming agents would be silicon, so SI powder or aluminum powder. And then, um, you know, like fill um, uh, a sample holder like this up to this with um with 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 geopolymer slurry then add the um foaming agent the metal powder and then it goes up like this in a time of let's say 10 to 20 minutes and um yeah after it hardened it yeah you have a cool um foam this is um, made the same way, but with uh, another kind of foaming agent in terms of um, grain size, and it produced smaller pores. Such materials have a compressive strength of one to two thermal conductivity of below 0 0.05 watts per meter and Kelvin. So I write in the show notes and the notes down there uh, what that means if I don't <laughs> forget it. And yeah, that's just another geopolymer with quartz flower in it. This is um, the same metacale line based geopolymer with gold particles in it, which gave it this pink color. Um, it can have everything from that pink color up to a real a rather dark red. Um, and if the gold particles get bigger, they start to become a bluish color or even go to this, um, you know, like purple. Um, the samples are not that beautiful anymore, but um, on the broken, so, um, uh, yeah, on this open surface. So you can see what the color inside is. So there's relatively, mm, a relatively big amount of gold in it. It's like 200 milligrams. And yeah, if gold, if the uh, so the this one is darker because the 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 gold particles it's really metallic gold so it's not some kind of gold it's really metallic gold they are way way bigger bigger than in there and if they become even bigger the material becomes almost black and um, maybe have seen this. Um, by people who make jewelry, if they cut um, gold quite often, they don't have gold colored hands, but they have black hands. Um, yeah, this is some kind of a particle effect. And yeah, I hope you guys liked um, this small presentation about geopolymers. This is just leaf gold, which I put on. Um, 
a geopolymer. This is an... Okay, I don't remember exactly what I did. <laughs> I added some um, kind of um, aggregate. Um, porous aggregate. Yeah, now I know. I added porous aggregate. Yeah. And yeah, then I applied some of the gold, uh, of this leaf gold, leafy gold, uh, because I liked it. Uh, yeah. Okay, yeah. As I said, I hope you guys liked my small presentation about geopolymers. Um, I would highly appreciate if you guys would, uh, you know, like, leave a comment. Um, maybe you even want to buy one of my books. Um, I made them really affordable so everybody can start making geopolymers, can develop a geopolymer material and um, but if you don't want to buy one of the books on Amazon uh, you can go on my Facebook page and there are three recipes of geopolymers, one meta line based, one fly ash based and one tough or truss based geopolymer which is which can which is yeah i published it for free and that can be the basis of making your own raw material so that left me to say thank you bye bye and have a nice day Books about geopolymer technology are available on Amazon worldwide. If you like my work, please like, share and subscribe and maybe you want to leave a comment. The best way to support my work would be to watch another video. Thank you for your time.